Now, Graham Jones is taking charge of Newcastle's game against Crystal Palace tomorrow following Steve Bruce's exit. He's spoken to the media for the first time this afternoon and we can hear from him now. Are you able to describe what the last sort of few days has been like for you from a personal level? Uh, well, initially, Keith, it was uh, one of upset, if I'm being honest, because I had a great working relationship with Steve. Um, uh, good man. You, you never uh, want to be in and around that in football because it means it hasn't worked. So um, initially on Wednesday, it was difficult. It's the truth. But we all know the speed of football and how quickly it needs to move on. Because if you miss a day or you miss a training session, you're, you're not as prepared as you could be for, for tomorrow's game. So the the focus quickly changed on Thursday and Friday in terms of um, positivity and, and getting the boys ready tactically for the game. Yeah, just just on Steve, Graham, you mentioned him in there. Can you just, just to put on record, because there's obviously been a lot, a lot said in, in the background, but are you able to put on record what your relationship was like with Steve Bruce? Yeah, no problem. Excellent. In every aspect, so both personally and professionally. And since you found the news out on Wednesday that you're taking the team, are you able to just give us a little idea as to what the, the new owners have had to had to say to you and what the message has been? Yeah, I spoke to the owners on Wednesday morning, and obviously they've asked me to take the team, Keith, in an interim basis um, for the next two games. Um, so Crystal Palace and Chelsea at home um, and as I've said previously I'm, I'm fully focused on preparing the team the best we can to be competitive in both games So I guess I guess um, you can only look at those two games I, I take it there's not even any chance at the moment that you're even looking beyond that Like, what is your actually am ambition here? My ambition is to do the best I can for my football club Keith I'm motivated in a completely different way to anywhere I've ever been because I came to this football club as a four-year-old with my father watching Super Mac play, 1974-75 I think it was, and then I was a supporter on the Gallagher end through the Kevin Keegan era and I know the culture of this football club and um, whether I was here or, or I wasn't, I would still be only interested in the, their football results. So. My focus is not on anything other than doing the best I can and making sure everybody else does the best they can for this football club in the in the short and long term to get football results. So given what you said there, Graham, about you being a, a supporter and, and being on the terraces as a boy, um, how exciting has the last couple of weeks been for you, I suppose, as a fan with the takeover and what does it mean to you on a personal level? Um, <clears throat> well, it gives you a chance, Keith. That's what it does because we all know in the game that um, if you're going to win leagues long term, you're going to win FA Cups, whatever it is, you've got to have the best players and I'm afraid that uh, only money buys that. So you've got a chance to be in the ball game, you've got a chance to be competitive long term. So there's huge hope for the club. Um, I think, if I get, again, I go back to the Kevin Keegan era, certainly from him coming in as a player and then as a manager, there was hope. That was the biggest thing that was there that he transmitted to everybody in the area um, that, that there was there was hope so that's back which is a great thing um, and you know the long term future the club looks rosy in, in your in your mind what has been the, the issue that the club or the team sorry I've got off to such a, a poor start to the season given how well you finished last what, what has been the problem uh, small margins Keith if I'm being honest with you I think uh, if you th really think closely, um, Southampton, we were a minute away from three points. Watford, we had opportunities, uh, a record number of opportunities, I think, for an away performance. To win the game, all of a sudden you're four points better off and you're probably where you should be uh, in the table. So small margins that were working working you know, working really hard to try and narrow down that'll hopefully go in our favour starting this weekend. Last, last one from me, Graham. Um, what scale of changes can we expect to see 
in a, in a Graham Jones-led Newcastle United to what we've, we've seen at the start of the season? Um, Keith, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously I'm not going to disclose shape or um, personnel or anything. The one thing I can say to you is over the last three days, every single player, we've had 20 players plus goalkeepers, have had the same experience tactically, both off and on the ball. So whatever, whatever side I de uh, decide to go with tomorrow, they'll all be ready. They'll all know their jobs. And again, back to the preparation thing, that, that's been where my focus has been this week.